Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go upstairs into my closet and we're gonna go ahead and go through a bunch of my jeans especially. I did this before with you guys. We were cleaning out you know, my closet but we were doing it together. As a lot of you guys know, I got a plus size tummy tuck last year and so things just fit really, really, really differently. I have purposefully been avoiding doing the denim. It's time, it's time. So if you wanna go through that and you're feeling hurt with me, stick around. I am gonna make a real quick lunch first with today's sponsor, HelloFresh. I've had HelloFresh easily 30, 40, 50 times and it's always delicious. HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service if you're like not familiar with what they are, but check it out. Vegan curry chickpea lettuce wraps, creamy garlic spinach ricotta ravioli, vegan Turkish spiced chickpea bowls. I'm gonna make this a vibey little cooking segment. I'm gonna listen to Broken Girls by Simone St. James. I'm already into it and Simone St. James knows how to get you in it immediately. She said, we are not wasting time, let's go. So I'm gonna listen to this book while we get this going. I just love the sound of cooking. Like someone put that on a loop, please, and send me the link because I need it in my life. But this is a veggie box. HelloFresh has a ton of different options. They have like a calorie conscious one. They have like a pescatarian one. They obviously they have vegetarian ones. They have ones with, you know, plenty of different meat options. You can even swap out proteins now, which I think is really cool. You can add sides, you can add all kinds of stuff. So HelloFresh has definitely come a long way. I think there's a reason why they are like so loved because the food is legitimately like restaurant quality. Anyone can make it. I think the next box, I'm gonna see if the kids can do it themselves because the directions are so straightforward. There's pictures, it's really easy. I mean, as long as I'm around, I feel like they can definitely whip it up themselves. I mean, my kids are 11 and 12, so you know, I, it's not five-year-olds, that would be a little more miraculous. But um, I do love having them on hand. I love getting it because we have a tendency to just kind of go straight to like delivery, which is in insanely expensive. I don't know if it's like a regional thing, like when the restaurants are a little further, it costs more or if it just costs that much for everybody, but it's definitely a lot more affordable to just like have HelloFresh in the fridge. You know what I mean? And I can just pull it out on a day that I, maybe I didn't have an exact dinner plan that day. And they're super easy to make. Like this one, I knew I had time. So this was like a 45 minute option, but they have some as quick as 15 minutes. So if you guys wanna try it out, you can go to hellofresh.com and use the code SarahVargas21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Huh? I don't know. I don't eat a lot of vegan food. I'm not opposed. All of these ingredients are pretty normal to me. That's pretty good, dog. Oh, a little Turkish spice blend. That's the one. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then get back to the closet. <laughs> Hey girl, welcome to my closet of bad lighting. I've always thought about redoing this closet, but <sighs> Ugh, there's just so many other things to do. Don't, don't get a new build. It, don't get a new build. They have zero character, no personality. Okay, now that I'm finished eating, dude, that book is so enthralling. I didn't even want to take my AirPods out. I'm a little sad that I did, but it's okay because you and I are going to hang out. But now that I'm done eating and good and well bloated, I only bloat on the top half now. It's pretty funny. So before we did my other closet and I ended up going through there and here and taking out about five huge, huge bags worth of clothes. Uh, but I have not touched any of my denim. This is my denim. You see how, okay, I don't know what the, this is some insulation. We were in the attic earlier. So all of this is my denim. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of it out because if I'm being very honest with you, I only reach for one pair of these pants. Here we go. And I gotta do the YouTube thing where I move the camera and then pretend like I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, watch, watch it. This is how the sausage is made, honey. All right. <laughs> Making the sausage. The mass majority of this denim is actually brand new, unfortunately. I'm normally very discerning about what actually gets to go into my bedroom, bedroom closet, and so that means that at one point or another, I loved all of these jeans, and they fit me 
because if they didn't, they wouldn't have made it. So, I just know I'm gonna get my feelings hurt. And this is like spanning different sizes from like when I had lost, when I had gained, when I had lost again, when I had been like, reverse uno, gain it again. I'm sorry, I'm disturbing your nap. How dare I? You only get like 22 hours a day to nap. So as you can see, we have a lot of denim here. I don't know how many pairs this is, but I'll count it because I'm sure that will be great knowledge. <sighs> All right, let me hurry up. I'm gonna be pretty cutthroat when it comes to getting rid of the denim because if I don't feel good in it, especially after having eaten and feeling bloated, if I don't feel good in it, it's got to go. It's either gonna go to donation or Poshmark or I have essentially a second closet set up in my mom's house where other people can go through and take whatever they want. It's like a little store at my mom's house. It's great. Let's get started. When it comes to organizing, I think just having something to organize into is literally, it's not half the battle, but it's like 20%. Because when we redid my mom's house, just having somewhere to put things like, this is gonna go to this person's house, this is gonna get donated, this is gonna get resold, this is a maybe, I'm not sure, let me think about it for two more seconds. Like, just having something like that, clutch. Do you like the light? No light. Light? No light. Light? It's daytime, y'all, but there's no light outside. Let's count them real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 25, 26, 27, 28, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 51. That's not bad, considering I will literally get 100 pairs of jeans in a year, like for work. Uh, less lately, I've been doing a lot less hauling, as you guys know. Papa, you wanna leave? Okay, let me change my shirt because this is not really conducive to a try on haul. I'm gonna put on a bra me real quick because it has a built-in bra. Woo, take it off. Oh, you can see me. <laughs> and that's what I get for joking around. All right, let's just start at the top. We have American Eagle size 18 short next level stretch. American Eagle next level stretch is actually pretty incredible, normally. Famous last words. Ugh. What size were these, size 18 shorts? Oh, speaking of, I gotta go through my shorts too. All right, here we go. Right, so here she is. She's all tucked in, she's locked and loaded. Her butt's in, her, her legs are in. She's, I think she's good. Now the distressing feels like a little bit much, but you know, a good pair of distressed skinny jeans, they ain't never hurt nobody, I'm keeping them. Oh, old favorites, Tour Denim, first at fit, 16 regular. Oh, I think these are gonna be, <laughs> these are gonna be tough. These ones have always been pretty tough to get on, but when I get them on, my butt, mwah, they're never uncomfortable. They're just a journey to get on. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is gonna be our journey, ladies. Oh, they're so tight at the ankle too. I used to love that. Now, now I'm not so sure. I don't think these are gonna fit. <laughs> I think, I think I got them up. Let me close them. And then we're gonna see how the booty looks because that was the only reason I would keep these. She doing anything? She doing anything special? Or she just being regular? You know what? She doesn't look as good as she used to. It's a no, we're gonna get rid of them. Ooh, I always love these ones. The tag is cut out for whatever reason, um, but you see this lining they have on them? And then it's across the front too. It's like a tummy control lining. And it was, they were so good. They're from Lane Bryant. These are size 16. Lane Bryant does run a little bit bigger. And I was obsessed with these jeans, like the style of jeans. I don't know if they still have them, but the ones with the tummy control that were a mid-rise dog. Mid-rise super stretch skinnies. Ugh. I'm not even gonna try them on because I don't like the wash. I am positive they would still fit. Um, I'm gonna put them in a maybe pile though, because if I get to the end of this and I don't have a single pair of dark blue jeans, it'll be these ones that I keep. Next on the chopping block, who is she? Oh, you know the only reason I have these, right? The only reason these are still in my closet. These are just your regular, regular skinny jeans. Can any, has anybody spotted it yet? Do you see it? Do you see why I still have them? Because my name is on them. I'm gonna pass, because I never reach for them. I'm gonna give these ones an automatic heck no, because it is so hard. These are the uh, jeggings from FTF. It is so hard to get this band on. Once it's on, it's on. The jeans look phenomenal, but it's a very thick, tight band around your midsection, and this is just no longer my journey. Ooh, these were favorites. I wore these to death. They're probably okay passing on. These are American Eagles, super stretch again. These were a sky high jegging in a size 18. I wore them until I couldn't wear them no more, girl. And I loved them, but like the blue, the stitching, 
gonna be a donate. Oh, these are the ones that I wore to death from them. Okay, these are the Torrid Super Skinny Sky Highs. What the heck were those other ones? These were the ones that had my booty looking right. I have this stretch in the waistband. Look, the butt's all saggy because I've worn them 10,000 times. Okay, we're about to put them back on. I think these are a size 18. They're 16 regular. They're super old, but they're the Torrid Premium Denim. Ooh, oh, no, I forgot that's not attached. <laughs> you like that slap? This is my thighs. <sighs> it's my thighs slapping together. Booty, does your booty slap? No. My thighs do. My thighs slap. Yeah, my thighs slap. No, I didn't think so. I'm not sure when the thigh slapping era is gonna, you know, come. But I'm ready for it. Same business. Like this one is all, it was always tougher to get it up, you know? Once it was up, ugh, it was up. And it just looks so good. Okay, it's on. Fits fine from the front. A little high. A little high. Now, is she doing anything from behind? Hi, Coco. No? Yeah, you know what? She looks like she's doing a little more than the other guy was doing. This is for sure gonna fall down, so I just bought belts. That's my new thing. I'm a person who has to wear belts now, and that's totally fine. I'm keeping these. <laughs> this is the back. Look at the ankles. You know what? I remember these. I wore these when I got mulled, clearly. What? I don't remember buying these. Clearly, I was going through something, though. Next level stretch, American Eagle, size 18. I think, I think, I think we can donate these. Someone else might be going through their mulling phase. <laughs> a brand new pair of FTF size 16, the skinny jeans. I remember liking these. I don't need another pair of skinny jeans though. We're gonna let those have a new home. Oh, Hollister. Okay, so these are fresh. These are relatively fresh and new. These are a size 21 regular, 21. <clears throat> Go ahead, say it. <laughs> Did you say it? <laughs> I kept most of these because I wanted to keep them, but I think I kept some because I missed the return window. So now we have to decipher which is which. They fit fine on the waist. Again, I would need a belt, obviously, but besides that, they're fine though. These are comfy. If I had a belt, these, like it feels like good denim, so I'm gonna keep these. This is a pair from my line with FTF. I think my second clothing line with them. Um, I have duplicates of everything though, so this was obviously a pair that I just hung, but I already have another pair. I'm still gonna keep them, but um, I don't think they need to be hung with the regular clothes. This is another duplicate or triplicate actually. I loved these jeans. These were from my first line with FTF and I love them. I love the back. I loved how high they went. I love that it was a triple button. I was trying to mimic the Torah denim but differently because I thought that like the fact that you have to like really struggle to get theirs on. I didn't feel like that made sense and it wasn't necessary. So I just wanted jeans that would make your booty look good and <laughs> didn't create a huge gap in the back and had the triple button with functional pockets. And we achieved that with this particular pair of denim. This is a duplicate as well in black because we released them in two washes. Ah, uh, see, here's the other pair. You see this one doesn't have a tag on it because this is the one that I would wear. And then I have another one in the blue jean that I would wear. So obviously I'm going to keep these. I guess I could try them on. All right. We'll try on the black ones and then the, when we find the blue ones, we'll know. They're tied at the ankle, but they don't suffocate your ankle. These were truly the Torta jeans, but better. Obviously they're no longer available. These were released like four years ago. <laughs> Wedgie. Okay. Who ordered the wedge salad? You know, because people toss. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, it's so high. I don't wear my stuff as high anymore because it's not the smallest part of my waist anymore. <sighs> There's something comforting about having my jeans up here though. It, that felt like I just stepped into like, just a hug with an old friend. It, I don't think it looks bad. It is a little high. Maybe that would help keep it up. They don't have belt loops, so that's the trouble with this one because it was meant to like be flush across your back, which it is, that's why it's so high. They're a little high, but these are part of my collection, so I'm just gonna keep them. I'm gonna find the other ones and I'll, we'll keep those two. Okay, I haven't found them yet, but this is the pair of jeans from Express that I wear every single day. This is the one pair of jeans. Look at how like light the inside crotchal area is. Cause this is the pair of jeans that I just know they fit and they look fine with tennis shoes because they don't quite hit my ankle. And of course I'm gonna keep them because at this point they are a security blanket. Oh, let's just do some automatic nose while I have pants on. Automatic no. Again, part of my mulling phase. <laughs> These are from American Eagle. I love them. I mean, when I had them and I was wearing them, I love them. These I bought and I always thought that the wash was way too dark. Again, American Eagle. More American Eagle. These basically look identical to those. Oh, except these were my favorites. No, they weren't. They look similar to my favorites though. American Eagle really had a chokehold on me, huh? 
Oh, okay, these are the other ones. You see the little notch in the back. So these are my other FTF jeans. And actually, I'm glad I recovered these because I would like to actually wear them, but they were in the mess here of these other 50 pairs. I, I, I like immediately no because I don't like the wash. Something tells me I really like these pants. Oh, I did. I love these pants, but they're too long on me. Like they bunch at the bottom. These are FTF. FTF makes some good denim. Another size 16 FTF skinny jean with distressing in the front. Can you ever have enough pairs? The answer is yes, you can. Uh, I am exhibit A. Oh, I really like these. I think I was a little bit bigger. I think I was like going through it like none of my clothes fit and I had gotten these jeans and they felt real good. I'm a big fan of a super thick band. Well, I don't think I am anymore, but I was a big fan of a very thick band. I found them to be very comfy and these were from Forever 21 and I love them. Hey, my box cutter. Oh, I should probably go through the pockets of these, huh? Who has the time? Someone's gonna discover hidden treasure. I remember wearing these. I have a photo of myself wearing them and I hated them because they felt so tight because they're a stretchy jean, but in order to make it like distressing that you could wear during the winter, they put a lining underneath. But of course the lining didn't stretch the same way that the denim on top did because nobody was thinking. So it was like having a really nice stretchy pair of jeans on and then you had sections where it didn't stretch. Uh, yeah, this was just a bad design, I feel like. I don't know if I'm gonna keep any American Eagle. Ooh, look how little they are. Do they look little to you? Cause they look tiny to me, girl. Who are you? <laughs> okay, miss, I lost them weight. Okay, these are still an 18. What's going on? <laughs> look how little they are. These are too little. They're hurting my feelings right now. These are brand new. I have no feelings towards them, so they're not gonna stay because I wouldn't reach for them. Ooh, I got this pair when I moved into this house and like I did an FTF video like one of my first weeks living here. I looked good AF in that video and in those photos. I look so good, girl. February 2021, girl, I was looking good in these jeans. They go up super high though, so there's no way I can do these anymore. But they, uh, I was feeling good in these ones, I remember that. These are brand new FTF, I'm not even gonna think about it. If it's brand new, someone else can have it. Express, oh, these are my jam. Look how short they are. Literally, look how short they are. Short and wide. I loved these jeans forever. The distressing got a little out of control. I'm keeping them. This is giving immediately no, but no. I, I don't like the wash. I'm, I'm not reaching for that wash. No, oh, I really like these ones. They were a cropped flare. I thought they were so cute in theory, but I have no idea what kind of shoe to wear with it. So we're gonna skip those. Same with these. I thought they were super cute, like a flared FTF uh, denim, but again, I was like, what shoes am I wearing with these? I couldn't figure it out. I have nothing bad to say about these, so let's try them on. These are a next level stretch from American Eagle. I'm assuming in a size 18. Yeah, 18 regular. Okay, actually on second thought, they're super high. So I'm just gonna pass. I did take my pants off, but we're gonna put something else on instead. Well, these are so cute. The skinny, your perfect pair, FTF skinnies. <sighs> no, but the, look how high they are. Look at the crotch. Too high. I do not like this wash. No. These are from Express. I just don't like this wash. I do like, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <gasps> Did y'all, did you see that? Just gonna hold the phone. We're putting these bad boys on. I know they're no bigger than 18 because they don't sell any bigger than that. Oh, now, you know what? They're a little ugly, but now I'm understanding why Sarah of the past kept them. Because, wow, it's just like putting on your favorite pair of big draws before bed. Oh yeah, it's just comfortable, familiar, a little ugly. Ooh, these feel good, girl. Oh, are these new? No, they're not. Oh, these are, oh, they probably make my butt look bad. That's something about express jeans. You know what they do? I shouldn't say they make my butt look bad. They make my butt look like my butt, and that's okay. <laughs> They're not super high. Damn, these are comfortable. I don't even, there's something about these that feels like wearing a threadbare t-shirt. Yeah, nah, these are, these are keepers. These are like five-year-old, <laughs> like Abercrombie Curved Love Jeans. Now, I don't know how old they are exactly. I can tell that they are too short. Um, they look like they're very comfy and everything, but I don't like the wash. Maybe everybody needs like one acid washy kind of jean. I mean, the fact that they're not distressed is a plus. I am glad I'm doing this. I really have missed wearing jeans. It's been a very long time. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like how these look. I don't hate them. I'm not mad at them. Should I keep them? 
I'm never gonna reach for them. I'm never gonna reach for this wash. I just know it. Oh, these are gonna break my heart. I know these don't fit because I had to lose like 30 pounds to make these fit because they have zero stretch and I loved them. I thought they were so cute. They're just like a basic wide leg um, or straight leg jean from FTF. They were so cute, but there's no way. They have absolutely no stretch. I was struggling back then. Democracy size 18. Oh, Democracy makes some of my favorite jeans of all time. They have a stretchy band. You can get them at Nordstrom. You can get them at wherever. You can get them at different places. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is an FTF wide leg jean, but these ones are stretchy. Let's try these ones instead. Is I keeping these? Does anybody remember? Yeah, I'll keep them. These are FTF size 16. Oh, they're so loose. Hold on. I can already see these with some Air Force ones. <laughs> Get to stop in my Air Force Woods. Oh, yeah. These are so loose. <sighs> I'm so glad loose pants are a thing again. Like, what? Women, we did it. Uh, okay, they're wildly high. Like, I could definitely put these up to nip if needed here. Um, <laughs> though, they might be a little too high. These are comically high. They're so comfortable on the bottom, though. Like, so loose and comfy I think if I just wore like an oversized sweater or something then honestly it wouldn't matter that much that they're crazy high I wish they were here <laughs> but that's okay oh, I could just fold them and then put like a hoodie over it these are so co oh <laughs> okay we are very close to cooch here more democracy jeans I had a ton at one point I was only wearing democracy denim because this band is next level there is nothing like it i'm keeping them because i'm just i just i keep wanting to say i know they fit but no i don't because they've never been on this version of me this is a good find these wide pants <laughs> you're coming home with i mean you're staying home with me did you see that you didn't see it i literally just swept it out and threw my whole leg in up to the crotch in one little <sighs> oh <laughs> I might have to pull those black ones back out because there is nothing like, oh no, they're too big. They're too loose. You know what? Ain't nothing a little belt can't fix. <sighs> Period. 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 When's my period supposed to come? I think we're talking about it. I think it's tomorrow. I gotta get all my fun time out today. <sighs> yep. Periods come tomorrow. Good to know. All right, so. <laughs> Where's the black ones? Right there, at the top. Okay, keeping those. It's called ab technology. That's what's in them. Can't you see my abs? Come on. Oh, these are cute. These are skinny mid-rise curvies from Express. I'm not gonna try them on. They're fine. Someone else can have them. The same thing. Oh, except another pair of democracy jeans. We're keeping them. One in every shade, please. Oh, 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 these are fire. So these are from Express. They're like super relaxed, very, oh, they're just, they're it for me and I'm keeping them because I do need a dark wash. I don't like black, but I love a deep, deep, deep gray slash light black. Is that a thing? How did you get in here? Another pair of Democracy jeans. These ones have been very, very, very well worn. So I think we'll just go ahead and donate these and I'll keep the ones I have on instead. Oh, I love these ones. These are just a flared out um, jean from Express. Now I have these in two different sizes because I used to wear them in the 6, 18. No, I got them in the 18. They were a little bit big, but they were just so cute. I didn't care. So these are the 18. And then after I got um, the surgery, I was like, well... I can't be listening to murder books and then not thinking the cat's a murderer, okay? Coco? Co only Coco? Coco, get in here. Crash, come on. Come on. Crash, what are we gonna do if someone's after you? The 18s would get too loose while I was wearing them, so I've got 16s. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're there. And I think realistically, I would reach for the 16 over the 18, even though the 16 starts out a little bit too tight, but the 18 gets like comically clown size too big on me okay this is another dark gray pair from express i really like these ones but i like the other ones more and do i need two pairs of gray pants i don't think so 
The reason I've been paring down so much is because when I have too much, it makes me not want to wear any of it because I don't know what fits, what doesn't. And typically when I'm getting ready, I just don't have the time to go through 10 different outfits. And then usually by that 6th, 7th, 8th outfit, I'm feeling really bad about myself because suddenly I'm like, wow, well you literally have hundreds of items and you can't find anything that looks good on you. And that's not the reality of what's happening. It's just that as I keep changing, I'm like, no, I don't want to wear this. No, I, what if, what if, you know, the bar stools are not, you know, it's not going to have a back on it. I don't want to be dealing with this thing moving. I don't want to be in this situation. Well, ugh, you know, it's cold outside, but I don't want to wear a whole jacket. Like, I'd rather have a thick blazer on. Like, it's a whole thing, you know. <sighs> but brand new size 16 next level stretch. When did I buy these? They're at the front. I must have bought these recently. I'll try those on. Okay, when did I buy these? Okay. Another pair of flared pants. This one is from Hollister, size 19. Oh, and another pair of flared, okay, 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 okay. Did any of you guys ever shop in the Alloway catalog? Because like that was the only place I could find a size 19 or 21 when I was a kid. And that's what size I wore. So basically my same size. And um, they had the ones like this, but like they were even shorter. These are a low rent, let's put them on. They were even shorter than that. I'm excited to put these on. And of course, no pockets in the back. Tara Reed. You want your pants back? <laughs> I stretched them out a little. I'm sorry. You know, I understand like young people not knowing who some of these very famous people from, you know, the Y2K phase were, but I don't understand fellow Y2Kers like not understanding who these people were. Like we had such limited media back then. How did you get away with not seeing these people's faces freaking everywhere? Like if 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 you lived through Y2K as an adolescent, and like you don't know who like Carson Daly is. What were you watching? Like what were the other options at three o'clock when you came home? <laughs> so low rise, mid rise really works for me. These ones are a little bit loose, but that's okay. Oh, there are belt loops. I can still wear it with the belt. I'm keeping these, I'm keeping them. That's why I kept them to begin with. I liked them just a few months ago, so it makes sense that I still like them. American Eagle, Hollister, just another version. All right, um, I, you know what? I ended up taking a couple more pairs out, including my extra FTF ones, the ones that were still new with tags. I don't think it makes any sense for me to keep them. I have two pairs, and then if I was ever gonna like look back at this time in my life, like I'm not literally gonna go dig in my closet to look. I would rather see like a photo of somebody wearing them than them in my closet. We have that one pair of wide leg jeans. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven skinnies. And we have five pairs of flares and boot cuts, which is all together 17 pairs of jeans. This still still feels like more than I need. I feel like I could have got this down to 15 pretty easily, 10 maybe even, but 17 is a heck of a lot better than 50. Of course, it wasn't just the fact that I pared them down, it's the fact that I tried them all on and I know those 17 pairs of jeans fit me, so theoretically they would be a good start, whether they need a belt or this or that, whatever. <sighs> But I'm glad I got that done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. If you want to see more Closet Chronicles, feel free to stick around. All right. Oh, and don't forget you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code SarahVargus21 and you get 21 free meals plus free shipping. I will have that information for you guys in the description box as well. But I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. And I will see you very soon. Because your girl's just going to... I'm... I'm I'm back. She's back. I'm so excited. I'm also very much active on Instagram and TikTok right now. <sighs> What a time to be alive. I feel rejuvenated. <laughs>